Hey, what's going on, everybody? Check it out. As you can see, I'm bringing you a banger today, man. And yeah, I know it's an Invicta, but trust me, man, when I tell you this watch, this is a banger. This thing is like a lot of y'all have never seen this before, man. And some of y'all, maybe you've seen it in pictures and stuff, but you got to see this thing in person to appreciate it, okay? Now, before I even show you what it is, I need to go back to this, okay? Now, I made a video about this watch not too long ago, okay? So this is... Uh, the Citizen uh, EcoDrive ProMaster Aqualand, okay? So this watch is a pretty heavy watch. It's a pretty big watch. Look how thick the case diamond. Look look at that, man. That thing is thick, man. Look at this watch. This watch has heft to it, okay? This is a proper diver's watch. This is going to give you 200 meters in the water, um, you know, up to 200 meters, that is. And, um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice watch. It's a very, very nice watch. But I want you to see this because the reason why I'm showing this to you again is for comparison's sake. Because when I open up this bad boy, man, this thing's going to blow you away. All right. So, again, you know, look at the size. You know, 22 uh, millimeter um, uh, lug width. All right. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty, this is a pretty big watch, man. So, on with the show, man. We are looking at. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? All right. This is the Invicta 38017, okay? Part of the Hydromax line of watches. And we know Invicta, they make some crazy stuff, okay? And there's a lot of hatred going on. Before I open this up, there's a lot of hatred going on, um, you know, over their, their, their pricing tactics. Um, a lot of the models are just like, they're whack, okay? They're just crazy. They're just outlandish. They're out there, all right? But this is one of the exceptions, all right? You have the 1953, uh, which is the homage to the 1953 um, Submariner Rolex. And then, of course, you have the 8926OB, which is the homage to the 1957 and up Rolex. Very, very good watches. Very nice watches. All right, this now. Y'all ready for this? Bam! Look at that. Look at that. Y'all don't understand this. I'm going to get the, the Citizen. I'll put it right beside in just a second. Come on, man. Let me, put, let me pull this out. All right, let me take it off its pillow. I don't want you to see this yet. I don't want you to see this yet until. Oh, man. This thing is just obscene. All right. Let me close this up. All right. Boom. There you go. This is the Invicta Hydromax mod number 38017. Okay. Y'all need to understand. This thing is 52 millimeters in width. This thing is a beast, man. It's massive. This thing will give you up to about a thousand meters in in depth in the water, up to a thousand meters. All right, they have many different models. Uh, this is just a model that I happen to go with, uh, which is a quartz movement, um, you know, gold gold uh, bezel, black dial, very very beautiful. You got to see this thing in person. Now, this is where you learn to appreciate the size. Look how big that is. All right, so from the case back, all right, to the top of the crystal dome. That's about 23 millimeters. Okay, 23. Look at this. Look, look, look at the glass. Look at the crystal. Look at that dome. That thing is massive, man. My God. All right. Look at it, man. Come on. Look at this bracelet. This bracelet is serious, man. It is serious. This whole watch is serious, man. Look. Look at the crown. The crown is huge. And it's signed too, right? And if you look at this, you know, a lot of people don't like this with Invictus where they'll usually have the name engraved along the side here saying Invicta. And it's like, come on now, this is bananas. You know, take that away. Anyway, so what we're looking at is 52 millimeters, okay? Um, 52 millimeter uh, from uh, case size, okay? From here to here, all right? Um, it's massive. And I believe it's 57 millimeters uh, from here to here. So including the crown, the case including the crown. All right, um, fully stainless steel, um, screw down crown, all right, which is big, 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 it's huge, and uh, like I said, uh, it is quartz, it is a Swiss uh, movement, uh, which is very, very important, let me get these things out of the way, here, wait, actually, before I do that, man, this is the reason why a lot of people don't like Invicta, look at that, look at that tactic, 1095 bucks. I'm telling you, man, nah. It's not $1,095. It's just that MSRP nonsense that they do. 
um, to inflate the price so that when they bring it down and you watch it on QVC or whatever, yeah, yours today for 70% off. You can get it for 150 Yeah, get out of here, man. That's its regular price all day, all the time. All right. Now I'm not walking this, I'm not knocking this watch. All right. I do like some Invicta models, some Invicta models. All right. And I can say, yeah, that's a legit watch. All right. And this here, let me just put it down, man. Cause y'all got to see this thing. Actually, let me see if I can sit it like that. Look, look, look at that, man. Look at that. This watch is unreal. You don't know, just sitting there by itself saying, Hey, what's going on, man? What y'all up to? This watch is serious, all right? This thing is so big, and you know what? Here, let me bring it back for comparison's sake now, all right? So this is the Citizen Promaster Aqualand brought back, okay? So I'm going to turn them on their side now. You see the comparison? You see how massive that is? Remember, this is a big watch, you know, right? It's a big watch. This is a bigger watch, all right? Take it in, right? Take it in, people. All right? This is what I call a knuckle duster. Right? You get sick and tired of wearing this watch, you can take it off, put it away, whatever. But let me tell you something, man. When you put this thing on your wrist, you got to get used to it. You got to, like, yo, go to the gym. Do some curls before you even think about investing in a watch like this because you got to be able to handle this, man. Let me give you all the money shot so you can see what it's like on wrist. All right? Because that's a big thing. Let me take my watch off here. All right, in case you're wondering what I'm wearing today, I am wearing a fossil. Yes, I'm wearing a fossil. I'm going to make a, a, a video on this. This is the model BQ2550. Trust me, I'm not into fashion watches, but this one, this is sick. Sick. Look at that. Look how thin it is, man. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. But anyways, let me put this away. All right. Put this bad boy on my wrist now. All right, so you can see how it looks. Uh, there's another feature that I'm going to show you in a second. So, gee whiz, beef. Look at that. There we go. I have it on. Look at that. This is what it looks like on wrist. Okay, I don't know the size of my wrist, man. I'm saying like it's anywhere from six and a half to seven uh, inches. All right. But look at that, man. Look how massive it is. Look at the space it leaves, like right here and here. Look, look at that, man. This thing is huge. It's massive. Look at my hand. I can't even. Come on now. This thing is big. Let me tell you something, man. This watch is also a weapon. And I ain't saying that you use it for a weapon. But, you know, hey, you know, you got into something stupid. This is a knuckle duster, baby. Look at it. Look, look. Yeah, you want some of this? You want some of this? This is a knuckle duster, bro. You can knock somebody out with this thing, man. This thing is massive, man. Again, this is the Hydromax 380. One seven model number brought to you by Invicta. Oh man, what more can I say about this watch, man? Usually retails anywhere from about I'd probably say like ninety bucks to uh, probably about one fifty, one sixty, and of course on the secondary market, you know, it's going to go for more than that, right? Um, but it's a very beautiful watch, very very beautiful. Uh, you know, it is the one twenty uh, point bezel. I mean, listen to that sound. Hold on. Are you listening to that? Hold on. Let me do it one more time for you, man. Man, that sounds so good, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it. This is it. You know, this is bananas. And did I say 22 millimeters? I'm not sure if I did. This is a 24 millimeter band. All right. All stainless steel, stainless steel casing, stainless steel bezel. All right. The insert, I'm not too sure about. Um... You know, the crystal, all right, so the glass, it is uh, mineral crystal. Um, and, hey, let me take a look. Let's take a look at the class here now. So the class is fully signed in Victa, all right, so it's raised a little. Pretty nice. There is the Hydromax logo. And uh, check out this one other feature, okay? Check this out. It's a milled clasp, so this is this is pretty badass, all right, with the uh, Invicta wording. Of course, they put their branding everywhere, right? But look at this now, all right? If this thing can't fit your wrist, all right? Or let's say you're going diving and you want to put it on your diver's suit and you need that extra room. Boom! Watch that now. See that? You have that extra room. That's the diver's extension, all right? These two little buttons on the side, press them in. Put it in. You could even 
press them, you know, look, look, check it out. There you go. That's it, man. So this watch, it's a serious watch. If you don't have the wrist size for this, I don't have the wrist size for this. If you don't have the wrist size for this, don't even bother because you're just going to look like a fool. Trust me, man. When you put this on and you walk into a room, people ain't even looking at you. They're looking at the watch because that's the first thing that catches their attention. It's so massive, man. It's huge. It's just, wow. I mean, the dome crystal. Come on. This thing is massive, man. Anyhow, I hope you all like this uh, quick look at the Invicta 38017 Hydro Max. Take a look at it, people. Take it in. I hope you all like it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And uh, continue to stay blessed. Oh, and if you haven't already done so, come on now. Should have said this earlier. Please subscribe. Please share. And if you like the video, like it, man. Take care, y'all.